Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to another StarCraft 2 Daily Masters. And we've got a couple of awesome players in here from one of those IM Season 8 games, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, I'm going to go in and we're not going to worry about which tournament it's from because I've already forgotten. So let's go and introduce the players. Down the bottom right side of the map is Mr. Jadong. He is 24 years of age. He is from South Korea, plays for Evil Geniuses, but come on, you guys should know that already because I cast this guy so damn often. And down the up the top right side of the map is Mr. Mana, and he is 20 years old from Poland, plays for Team Liquid, and is pretty awesome. I don't know, is it just me or are there a lot of foreign, like non-South Korean players who play for Team Liquid? It seems like there are. I can't think of any others. Um, TLO? Definitely, and there's, there's at least one other. At least one other, but it seems like a very, very decent amount of the non-South Korean players. When I, I, I suppose I'm falling into the uh, falling into the mindset of if they're a foreign player, that means they're not South Korean. I mean, I'm not South Korean, so technically I'm a foreign commentator then. But anyway, you, that's that's what I mean when I say foreign. So, I mean. That's, that's the yes, that's the StarCraft 2 high-level tournament technical meaning of foreign, I believe. So anyway, looks like there's some sort of commentators pointing out, yes, there is a base going down there, and yes, there was a probe that just probed it, which leads me to believe that that is why they called a probe a probe, which is good. Jada actually moving out with the drone, going for a third. Oh man, I really think he is going for a third, and mana... What a... He knows, he knows exactly what's going on here. And Jadong is just going to be like, Oh, you son of a bitch. You bastard. Ja blocked it again. Beautiful, beautiful play. And now the links are out. He's blocking days are over. Is he going to get a pylon down? Is he, is he, is he? No, he's not. Oh, man. If you could have gotten a pylon down there, that would have been phenomenal. He kept it blocked for quite a long time. But a pylon would have just been like a slap in the face. Not even just a normal slap in the face, but a slap in the face with like one of those really, really heavy baseball gloves. It's like really big leather and there's, I don't know, bits of metal all over it or something like that. Like a spiked baseball glove. Slapping somebody in the face with that. Because that is just, that is just so mean. Anyway, Mana has his natural already down, so he obviously got that out pretty fast. And... He's got a Ling actually coming in there, and Man is like, he's got a Zella, and he's like, yeah, you know what, screw it, I'll just let that go again. <laughs> oh, overcharges the Nexus. No, he didn't, I thought he overcharged the Nexus, but it was just the Mothership Core. Came out shooting, and that Ling did not last very long. Oh man, that's, <laughs> that Ling did not last very long. That's, oh, we're having fun here. <laughs> Jadong is actually moving out there. I have no idea why. Maybe pylon scouting. Maybe that overlord just like doesn't want to be anywhere near the main base. It's like five minutes into the game and he's like, yeah, we're going down, man. We're totally going down. There's no way. I'm getting the hell out of here now. You idiots can stay here and die, but I am getting the hell out of there, man. We've got no chance at all. So, yes, this this guy is the complete opposite, man. He's got to win the war all by himself. I mean, he's got command on the phone to him. He's like, dude. Dude, you don't have any weapons, man. I mean, I, 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 you're a great person, and I really appreciate your courage. You're like an inspiration to the rest of your troops, but you are flying at the enemy base, and you have no weapons. This is not going to work out, and we really, really do not want to lose you for absolutely re no reason. I mean, sooner or later, they're going to develop... Oh, crap. Are you being shot at? Are you being shot at right now? I, no, you cannot handle it, okay? I, you cannot handle it. You do not ha have any weapons. You move at one kilometer every three hours. You cannot handle it, okay? Just, oh god, he's, he's, he's not answering anymore. He's not answering. I, I think he's dead. I mean, he was first in the academy as well. I, it just boggles the mind. Really, really boggles the mind. Oh. <laughs> Here we go! Bunch of Phoenix coming out, and those Phoenix are like, yeah, we're awesome. They're like Tweedledee and Tweedledum, it's like, yeah, you're awesome, no, you're awesome, no, you're awesome, man, yeah, I'm awesome, no, I'm, I think I'm still pretty awesome, what, no, I'm, yeah, 
Okay, you're awesome, but you're not as awesome as I am. What are you talking about? I'm more awesome than you are, man. I got a kill. I killed an overlord. It's like, dude, I killed an overlord as well. Yeah, but I killed mine first. Yeah, but I gave you the easy one. I had the better overlord, man. That overlord was way tougher to kill, man. He almost had a weapon, that guy. He almost had a weapon, but not quite. And it's like, you are so full of crap right now. Anyway, Phoenix actually trying to... They got a third Phoenix, and this guy... Well, where's, where's the guy without any kills? This guy's only got one kill, man. He's, he's the resident noob right there. How did they not... I don't think they tried to lift up the queen. Just going for a bunch of workers over there. How many get... They killed three workers so far. And Mr. Jadon continuing to send the lings in. He's like, well, they got to be... I mean, they got weapons, so it's at least it's better than the uh, decision to send the Overlord in. But regardless, Mana going for very, very fast Colossus. He's getting, he's getting his first one up. He's already got an Ogle, um, Immortal coming up. So he's doing pretty good against the Ling Aggression, which he is bound to see because Jadong is going for 1-1. On there, he's going for a ton of gas. Muters is the way to go in this battle. We're going to see some Muta thingamabobs popping up. And what is Mana going to be doing about that? Blink Stalk is going to be a pretty good idea. Do we have Link's Talk? We've got four gates coming up, so he's looking for some very, very early pressure. We do not have a Twilight Council, no. He's got every other bit of tech, but no Twilight Council and no Templar Archives, which are two of the really, really good buildings for dealing with muters. Of course, Storms just own them, and Stalkers, man, you need Blink if you want to do a really good job against them. Oh man, this Phoenix going down, he's got four kills, and he thinks that makes him invincible. Where, where are the kills on these other guys? Three, two, yeah, the four kills one, man. He's very, very ballsy, but I don't know, man. Balls do not keep you alive as much as some guys would like to think they do. They don't. They really don't. Here we go, single Colossus, almost no uh, units. Keeping it, uh, keeping it protected. The Lings uh, probably won't do all that much against this. I mean, there are force fields in this battle, so that should be fine. But he really needs to start getting a bunch of other units out there. I mean, I did build four gateways, so I assume that's what he's going to be doing. Morphing in a bunch more of that stuff. Income-wise, Mr. Jadong is pushed out quite nicely. He's in a very, very good position. It should be thinking about getting this fourth base up very soon. He's already got the creep out there. Colossus moving out, doing a great job. Where are the Colossus counters? He's building seven Corruptors right there. That's it, done. Seven Corruptors. I think Mana is going to be a little bit outgunned. He feels good at the moment, but once the ten Corruptors now come out, he is going to be in a horrible, horrible, devastatingly horrible, bad position. And there's not much he's going to be able to do about it. But... Yeah, man, I'm moving out, and this game is going really, really fast, man. We got fast corruptors, we got fast colossus, we got re a lot of really, really high tech units at the 12 minute mark, which is quite, uh, quite impressive. So what do we got here? What do we got? Where are the corruptors? The corruptors come around the bottom right side. Force fields keeping the links from coming in. The stalkers having a good go at the corruptors. The corruptors taking out the mothership corp, trying to focus down on the colossus, actually lifting them up to uh, break the attack move on them, but it's not helping too much. Jadong just doing a great job, and the Stalker numbers, not high enough to really knock back those Corruptors. I think Matt is not doing an excellent, excellent job of actually keeping his Stalkers focused. They are hitting other things as well. But regardless, the uh, ground units have gone down. The Lynx managed to take, the Colossus managed to take out all of the Lynx, and the Stalkers are now free to do whatever they want. There are Roaches coming out, but I think Mana has enough for now to deal with any small amount of roaches that come out. He's got an immortal. Oh, here he goes, moving in, sending everything in. He's going to be putting the green crap on these guys. we knocking them down. Fair amount of roaches. The immortal is going nuts on all of these roaches. But the stalker numbers are going down. Reinforcements coming in. It's going to help a little bit for the immortal. Taking too much damage from the broodlings. It is going to go down, no doubt about it. And now we're just a bunch of stalkers trying to stay alive, and they're not going to last very, very long. So that immortal in the middle of the map Really, the middle of the group really was holding on for so long, but at least Matter took out the expansion. I gotta say, that was a very, very awesome move, and whether or not he can keep going on that is going to be interesting. He's up on workers now, he's 51 over 48. Jadong obviously losing a ton of workers in that attack, and not gonna be happy about that. He's sending out a ton of units, but Mr. Matter has a beautiful scout on them, and they're not gonna get in anytime soon. I don't think Ling's not really. There's a bunch of Corruptors. He's building a bunch of Roaches as well, which is, yeah, it's a pretty, it's all right. It's all right. Um, never really got to build the Muters that he wanted, so yeah. 
but he's more worried about those corruptors at the Colossus at the moment. So he is building a bunch of roaches. Which, I don't know, roaches are good at not dying to Colossus fire, but they're... They're... Yeah, it's kind of a nah, sort of, against, uh, against stalkers. Because stalkers are pretty good. And if you don't think he's building an immortal, so that should help out Jadong a little bit. We got 1-1 one, one over here, we got 1-1 one, one over there, we got 2-2 two, two on the way. Nothing for mana. So it's going to take him a little bit longer. If, uh, well, I mean, Shadong is building up at the moment. He's not at the level that Mana is. We have a look at the army. It's 83 over 63, including a bunch of really, really cool units. Now, we, all Mana has to really do here is the force fields. That's good. Make sure the Rangers don't really get in range of the Colossus. That could be bad. And also making sure the Stalkers keep their priorities up. You've got to wipe the Corruptors out. There's not that many Corruptors on the map. Only two. And I don't think that Jado is going to be able to deal with that. He's build, building a ton of roaches. Maybe he should have built a couple of corruptors in there. And, I mean, that's Jadong's mistake right there. Not building the corruptors when he could have had a decent guess and said, you know what, there's probably more Colossus coming out, so I need to get some corruptors. And, I mean, roaches only? No. No, it's just not going to happen. It's a decent enough stalkers. A mount of stalkers. I really like the fact that Mana did build a crap ton of stalkers. He obviously suspected the roaches were going to be the name of the game and built a ton of stalkers to counter them. Did a fantastic job and just moved in and did a fantastic job. I mean, even if Jadon went for corruptors, the stalkers would have knocked him out of the air. So I can kind of understand his decision not to go for corruptors. Kind of. But in that case, what he really... I don't know. I really don't know because I mean the best counter versus stalkers is Massling, and Massling will get annihilated versus Colossus. So, what do you do in that situation? I honestly don't know. You're looking at Mass Colossus, Stalker. You don't have any seriously heavy tech at that point. You've got Corruptors, maybe Muters. Muters would die. So, let, let's have a look at here. Alright, so what are we talking about? Roaches? Yeah. They're, they're kind of near. Yeah. Lings suck. Corruptors suck if the Stalkers are microed correctly. The only thing I can think of that you really, really own that is Roach Hydra. So Roach Hydra, you move in, the Roaches take the brunt of the damage, the Hydras demolish the Stalker numbers. The Stalkers just get obliterated by the Hydras. And then that leaves the um, the Colossus open to Corruptors. But Jadong didn't have the Hydra tech, and maybe he should have moved for that, but there wasn't a lot of time. Mana built up pretty quickly and went in there pretty quickly. So trying to get that Hydra tech up, Meh, it's a bit dodgy. So he didn't have that. He decided to go for mainly pure roach. Didn't work out. Too many stalkers. He was maybe hoping that Mana didn't have that many stalkers. But unfortunately for him, Mana did have that many stalkers. So great play by Mana there. And really, really good job by both players. But Mana, taking it out. Great stuff. And yeah, thank you very much for watching this game. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So yeah, it's been Harry Muppet. Hope you enjoyed this game.